Hey guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video so today we have a special guest this is one of my friends so we're going to be doing her nails today in this video we're not using any like specific product we're just going to be using a mccart poly gel and we're going to be doing some nail art so right now she just has some gel polish on her nails so i'm going to start by filing that off using my sanding band i'm just trying to be very gentle and careful because i don't want to file too much into the nails because that would hurt and also damage the nails so i kind of have my nail drill on a slow ish speed so it's not the lowest speed but it is still pretty slow because i'm just trying to be very gentle and as you guys know i usually only do my family's nails like my sisters and my mom's so doing like someone else's nails it just makes me a little bit more nervous because i really don't want to like hurt them or something so yeah i'm just trying to be very careful <laughs> Okay, now I'm just gonna dust off the nails and then we're gonna start with the nail prep. I'm first gonna start off by pushing back the cuticles. And then I'm just taking this cuticle drill bit and just working this around the cuticle area. This is gonna like lift up any of that dead skin and also further push back the cuticles. Okay, now I'm going back in with my sanding band and I'm just going to take off any of that excess gel polish that I might have like left behind from before. And now we're going to get into trimming off that excess dead skin from around the cuticle area. going to size out these nail tips i'm using not polished nail tips and once we have them sized out i'm going to get gluing them on so i'm first gonna wipe off any of that dust that was left on the nails and then i'm just gonna take my kds glue and just glue on these nail tips Sadly, she can't have long nails because of her school, so um, yeah, she wanted long nails. She wanted to just not cut them at all, which you know I would love, but she had to keep these nails kind of short.
and now i'm just kind of matching up the nails to make sure that they're all the same length now i'm gonna go ahead and put on my primer and dehydrator so i kind of did this backwards we were talking so i just kind of mixed up the two so i accidentally put on the primer and dehydrator now before shaping which is okay but i would just recommend to shape the nail tips up and then put on primer and dehydrator and base coat and then i go back and reshape the nail tips luckily they didn't really need to be reshaped that much because these nail tips are already really nice and then i just removed the shine from the nail tips and now i'm going in with the base coat and i'm just going to be putting a layer of base coat on all of these nails Okay, so let's get into this poly gel. I'm going to be using this nude poly gel from the McCart nude poly gel kit. I used this color in my last video. I just thought it would go with her skin tone really well, so I decided to use it again. We're just doing full nude nails because I'm going to be adding nail art on later. I'm just going to be using one large bead of the poly gel, and then I'm just going to smooth that out. I'm just going to push it as close to the cuticle area as I can, but not touching the skin. You just want to make sure you're consistently like cleaning up around the cuticle area to make sure none of that poly gel is flooding. Yeah, I just make sure to cover the whole nail and then just smooth everything out and then i basically continue this on the rest of the nails so guys i have started my halloween shopping i went to target the other day and they just had some really cute halloween stuff like i couldn't resist i had to get some stuff there some of the things they had were like jack-o-lantern like glass pumpkins and they also had these fake candles and i was like i need these so i got some of those and then i also found this light up sign that says boo and i just love them so much sadly like target didn't really have that much halloween stuff i don't know if it was the time i went like the shelves were kind of empty so i don't know if they were sold out of stuff or they didn't put halloween stuff up yet you know what i mean so i need to go back because i need more halloween stuff like that's just how it is and also for halloween costumes me and my sisters i don't know what we're gonna do because we wanted to do squid game you guys know that like new netflix show that just came out yeah we wanted to do squid game costumes but like everyone's doing that and it's kind of expensive so we might do something a little more simple probably like we were thinking just like black outfits with like a scary mask or something i don't know like me and my younger sister we don't even eat candy so it's like the only reason we'd have a costume is to go trick-or-treating but we don't even eat candy you know what i mean so i don't want to like do too much for no reason but um whatever halloween costumes we do choose i will let you guys know look at my cute cat look at him just snuggled in this blanket he's so adorable tiny cat anyway daily dose of cat he's so adorable anyway back to the vid So sadly my phone was acting up and this is the only part of the filing that I could get like right when I was about to be finished filing. This is all I could save. So basically I just shaped up the nails and now we're going in with this drill bit. This is like a safety drill bit. It's kind of like a fine grit and I'm just working this around the cuticle area to make sure that the poly gel is nice and sealed so we don't get any lifting. And then I just kind of run this drill bit over the entire nail. This kind of removes those deep scratches and it just makes the nail look really smooth. So I decided to keep a lot of this part in the video because i thought it was really satisfying and i usually always speed this part up anyway so you know it's a good chance to just you know actually be able to see what i'm doing with the filing <laughs>
Okay, and now we're going to get in to the nail art. Half of this video is nail art. These designs kind of took me a long time. So here's our inspiration for this nail set. Um, on the first nail, we're starting off on the middle finger. I'm just adding that top coat and then I'm gonna cure it just in case I make a mistake. I can easily wipe off any gel polish that I need to. So we're gonna start off with the scream face. I used a dotting tool to make that oval shape. And once I had that shape down, I just kind of extended the chin to make the shape for the face. And I just kind of cleaned it up with my nail art brush. And now I'm going in with the black gel polish and I'm just outlining the white. Okay, and now we're gonna start on the face. For the eyes, they kind of look like bean shapes. Um, so I'm just using my dotting tool and making the eyes. And then for the nose, it's just an upside down U, like a really small upside down U. And then for the mouth, it's kind of similar to like the chin shape. So it's like a long oval. This finger kind of took me a while, but the nail art wasn't hard. It just kind of took me a while to do because I wanted the lines to look really nice and crisp. And I'm basically doing the same thing on the other hand, on the middle finger. We're starting with the white face shape. And then we're going in with the black gel polish. And then we're gonna be doing the face. So onto the pointer finger, we're going to be doing some flames. I'm using this like really bright pink glitter gel polish. These nail art brushes that I used were a lifesaver. I just got them and they work really well. I'm so glad I got these because they are nice and thin. The ones I had before, they just, they were like the cheapest ones I could find. And yeah, they just didn't really work after a while because obviously, you know, they get old and then the brush isn't as thin as it used to be. But these new nail art brushes are so good. They work so nice. These are some McCart nail art brushes that I got on Amazon. Everything I use will be linked in the description. So yeah, if you're looking for some actually like good nail art brushes, I recommend these. And then onto the other hand, we're doing the same thing, just that pink flame. So onto the ring fingernail, we're going to be doing some hearts. I'm using that same pink glitter and then I'm taking my dotting tool and I'm putting two dots like kind of close together, but not touching. And then I'm going to take my nail art brush and kind of just connect them at a point. This is a really easy way to make hearts. <laughs> And then I'm going to be using this really light pink and I'm just going to be making another heart. And then 
I just used that pink glitter once again to make the third heart and I'm doing that same thing on the other hand. I just kind of switched the colors. So this time it was two light pink hearts and one glitter heart. So onto the pinky nail, we're going to be doing some drips. I'm using that really light pink and I'm just making some drips like coming out from the cuticle area. You basically just want to start with a line like near the cuticle area and then make the drips go into that. To make the drips, I kind of gather a lot of gel polish on the tip of my brush and make a dot and I just kind of drag that line up and it makes this really nice drip and then I just make the ones next to it and I kind of connect them. So here is how the nail art is looking so far. I really like how it's turning out. And onto the thumbnail, we wanted to do a spider web because we were kind of running out of time. The only stamping plate I had was this one and it had like another design like attached to the spider web design that we wanted so i thought i could like just clean up the other design and keep the spider web but it just wasn't working out so we scrapped that and then we just did the drips on the thumb as well And you see how I kind of connect the drips with that U shape? Definitely add this part because you don't want your drips to just look like they're coming out of a straight line, you know what I mean? Okay, and now we're just gonna finish off this look with some top coat. This was a really fun set to do. It took me a little bit of time to actually do this set. Now we're just going to be adding some cuticle oil and here are how the nails turned out let me know what you guys think of this nail set i absolutely love these nails i just i wanted to do scream nails and this is what i wanted like these are so cute i just i love how these turned out i love the colors of the pink i just think they just look so good together they have like that little hint of spookiness with the scream face but also they're like cute nails you know with the pink and the hearts and the flames i just love them i think they're just like a perfect subtle halloween nail set so that is pretty much it for this video thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you all next time bye